What's up my lovelies? So today I have the new ColourPop No Filter Foundation. So I was super excited when this came online. I literally ordered it. I always order makeup whenever it comes new, especially foundations because I got oily skin and I gotta find ones that work best for me. So I got a light one and I got one that is considered medium dark and then I got one that is called considered dark. So I ended up getting the dark 155 and I got this one because of the Estee Lauder Double Wear, the 5-1-W. I have that foundation but I only wear it on my darker and I feel a little bit darker. The medium dark 145 which matches the um, Fenty 330 but my Fenty is 360, um, but I don't think it really matches me. But I'm just going to see. It comes in just simple packaging. But these bottles are super cute. They come in these little, like, stars. I also bought two of the loose setting powders, which were 9 bucks. I ended up getting the translucent and the banana powder because I wanted to see how they worked. I also got the sheer pressed powders. I got dark, medium dark, and then deep dark. And so I couldn't decide if I needed medium dark or dark for my powder. So I got both. And then I got the deep dark so maybe I could contour with. So the setting powder comes in a bowl like this, which is always convenient to have, especially with making sure you're not getting the setting powder everywhere. And then the pressed powder comes in a pretty little box. And it's cute with little lines on it. So I'm going to do my normal day-to-day -day where I usually always prime with my um, NYX Angelville primer and then I correct because those are my holy girl steps I always have to prime and then correct so I'm gonna go ahead and correct this kind of want to see what these textures are like as well as um just look at the colors real quick so let's start with dark 155 so cute i love this pump so let's see okay wow that looks a little orangey it's moving but not too much so it's not like super thick but it's not like too watery okay let's see what and that is the medium oh that one's running so 145 i'm gonna put it right here i don't know actually that one doesn't look bad Okay, and 155, ooh. I'm gonna go with 145. I thought it was gonna be too light, but 155 looks too orangey almost for me. Mm, it's a little orange, but it's, it's okay. This was one pump, by the way. So wait, I was putting it on and it feels like, it's like really easy to blend. I'm putting this on and it just feels like it's super easy to just like bang 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 get in here it's covering up my corrector it's covering up my dark spots this is the other side and this is this side I'm interested to see if it's buildable cuz then I'm gonna be real excited this honestly has a pretty good coverage for just like the first layer. Wow. I think I like this. Mm. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It doesn't feel cakey. Y'all saw like the dots on my face earlier. It it covered that. So this is one layer. I can still kind of see just like my orange corrector under here, but I do kind of put a lot, so it's hard to cover that sometimes. Let me do another pump to see what the coverage is with that one. I'm literally obsessed with full coverage and this is seems to be giving me that color pop have y'all been holding out on us this whole time all of us could have been out here beat it's light it's blending in well especially for like a second layer it doesn't kick up it feels this I'm just amazed at how like light it feels but how much coverage it's giving me right now my oil free lightweight check um, formula blend smoothly check so I'm I'm liking the way this is like 
finishing on my face. It is drying like to a natural matte, which is what they want it, it to be. So I am gonna do a wear test today and see how this ends up playing out for me. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal a little bit real quick because I wanna use the setting powder and then the finishing powder. So I went ahead and highlighted, finished highlighting and then contoured a little bit. And then now I'm gonna go into the setting powder, which for the sake of you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and use banana on one side and then translucent on one side um, because I wanna get like a true test to see how these setting powders work. Oops, oops. I literally just got banana powder. So this banana powder is super yellow and then the translucent is light. Okay, let's go ahead and do the banana yellow, real yellow on this side. <laughs> and so now I'm gonna put, oops, oops, way too much translucent on the this side we're just gonna kind of let those sit so I'm gonna go ahead and contour a little bit with this deep dark powder so let's kind of get this forehead let's get these cheeks carved oh wow so this is medium dark and this is dark so let's use the medium medium dark so this is definitely gonna work if you're gonna need to set just kind of set everything in to get some oil to get off of your face or something it seems to work just fine for that so i'm about to do my eyes real quick using shayla's perception palette from ColourPop. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'm gonna be using my beautiful Monet lashes. These lashes are in the style Honey. And girl, these are bomb lashes. So I am going to dust off this powder and see what my face decides to do. So this is translucent, which looks okay. Here is banana. So the difference that I see is that the banana is a little bit more natural and that it kind of blends everything more together. The translucent is definitely, you can see, it's a little bit more harsh in a way, but it opens up. There's more like a highlighted area here, whereas this one just looks like it's blended. I also feel like on the translucent side, I can still see my bags a little bit. But on the banana, it hit it a little bit better. I'm gonna put a little bit of the medium dark powder around here to just kind of blend. I like the way that this is coming out. It's like really cute. Okay, let me put a little bit of blush on. So I'm putting the Shayla highlighter. Every time I put this highlighter on, I surprise myself and I get just so excited at the amount of highlight. It's so pretty. Like, oh my gosh, Shayla, you just, this is literally the perfect highlight. I'm gonna put on, I like my lips with cork and I'm gonna put on the color Come On Sis by Shayla. I haven't actually used this color, so I'm just gonna put on today. When I put Knee Freak on top of this, which I'm putting on, I'm sure it's gonna be looking like. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go run some errands with my fiance and I'll do a couple check-ins while I'm out on my phone probably just to see um, 
how the foundation is going throughout the day. So I'll be back. I'll see you later. What's up, lovely? So I am doing a midday, well, not really midday, but a check-in. Uh, I finished my face at like 120, was it? 120-ish. It's now 510, so it's been roughly four hours. So I just want to do a check-in to get you seeing where my oil was and how the foundation was playing out. There's a lot of sun out today. It's like 99 degrees outside today. It's holding up. I've just done my normal blotting, but it looks pretty good. What's up, lovelies? So I actually <laughs> recorded my review and then I realized my mic was off but it's all good. And so I'll enter a clip of when I first sat down so you could see how the foundation was going on with my face. I have been wearing this foundation for about nine, 10 hours, um, but I did touch up with the medium dark um no concealer no filter press powder and my foundation is looking bomb i didn't blot that much today to kind of get the oil off my face and it was 90 like it was hot today this foundation does transfer like a lot of foundations but the difference in this one that i felt today is that i didn't feel the need to blot as much on my face therefore experiencing the amount of um, transfer that it might have I only touched up two or three times with my back of my hand today it wasn't much it says it's supposed to be lightweight which it is because I haven't felt like this foundation was heavy or bothering me all day today it is oil free because of course I have natural oils that will come out but it wasn't really coming out as much as it normally is at the end of the day another thing I'm pointing out this foundation didn't oxidize it's also supposed to be full coverage which it is the rest of my makeup my concealer um, my contour my highlight it all looks pretty good too even with me wearing it for a decent amount of time usually sometimes I all types to kind of blend in and look funky sometimes but with this foundation it looks really good so I would give this foundation a 10 out of 10 if you are thinking about buying it I would buy it it's definitely oily girl skin friendly and then also when it comes to these powders they press in the sheer i would recommend getting and trying the banana i think the banana did a better job at blending everything seamlessly so if i was to pick one it would be the banana and then for these sheer press powders i think that when touching it up it contributed to the foundation kind of going back to how it was supposed to look this one's a little bit obviously it's called sheer so it goes on a little more more lightweight but for the summertime sometimes like if you don't want to have that much that might be a good option for you, especially if you want to just maybe use this as a touch-up powder or something. It, I think it does a good job at getting everything kind of set back in place. Um, I really like this foundation. Like, I'm going to be popping in this one. Like, I love me a good oil-free, oily skin friendly foundation. And this is going to be on my list. And it's super affordable. So this is something that I would definitely go back and order online. That's all I have for this foundation. It is great. It's a banger. So if you want to see more reviews on new foundations or oily skin friendly reviews, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.